Hi everybody, welcome back to my bathroom. Let's talk about candling your eggs. Now there's a bunch of different times that you can candle your eggs and I really recommend that you try keeping to a certain schedule. Now on day five through seven is the first time you're really gonna be able to see if your egg is viable. You should see a small blip with a tiny little spidering or network of veins and that is gonna tell you that your egg is fertilized. If you don't see that, then try again in a couple of days and if you don't see any network of veins, then your egg was not fertile or it never started to grow and develop and you should remove that egg out of the incubator. As your egg is decomposing in there, gases are gonna grow and build and it can even um, burst your egg and that would spread all kinds of germs and bacteria to your other eggs. So you definitely wanna be removing eggs that are not viable. So days five through seven is really when you can candle to determine whether or not they were ever fertilized. You're gonna candle again probably around on day 10. 10 through 12 is a good time to candle again because sometimes you can get what is called a quitter. And that is just simply when the developing embryo just stops developing and then you have a chick that is no longer alive. And you're definitely gonna to wanna to remove that. At this point, you should be able to see movement in response to light. So I have this handy little light on my um, incubator right here. And if I don't see movement, and I'll wait for a good 30 seconds, if I don't see movement, um, at all, then I will check it again the next day. And if there's still no movement, I will go ahead and remove it. Sometimes a egg will develop what's called a red ring. And that is when the embryo has died and, the, um, and all the, the blood has pulled into that ring. The last day that I check my eggs is between days 17 and 18. And the reason that I don't check after that is because I don't wanna disturb the egg on the last three days of its incubation. The, this incubator automatically stops turning the eggs on day 17 um, so that the subsequent days um, there's no disturbance of the egg whatsoever. The reason for that is because they want the air stack to stay in one spot and they want to give the chick a chance to present face up so that it can begin pecking at the top of the egg. If you roll it over, then it could perhaps be in the wrong position for birth, I guess is what you could say. Another thing to look for when you're candling your egg is to be aware of where the air sac is. Now, um, you can tell in certain eggs if the air sac has become disconnected from the, from the outer wall of the eggshell itself. That happens a lot when you ship eggs. So if you're buying eggs from a hatchery, um, because they have a certain breed that you want. Sometimes the egg sac is detached and that means you're gonna proceed with your incubation a little bit differently to kind of protect the chick inside. Some people that order eggs online, they will candle their eggs when they first get them and they will actually use a marker to mark the, um, the air sac of where it is so that they can kind of keep track of how it's moving and changing. I have not done that in my incubating periods because all of my eggs are coming from my own farm. So yeah, those are some things to look for. And those are the days that you could be candling your eggs and keeping track of everybody and discarding ones that are no longer viable. Hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. Bye.